Hi, I'm Laura Winner, Director of the Lean Sigma Program for Johns Hopkins Medicine. Today I'd like to share with you what we're doing at Johns Hopkins with Lean Sigma. We've found that through applying Lean Sigma methodology, we not only make our processes more efficient, we also provide safer and higher quality care to our patients. All processes are made up of a certain amount of waste. We know that most processes contain approximately 40% waste, and healthcare is no exception. If we can eliminate some of that waste, we can free up some of the capacity and provide better care to our patients. Lean focuses on eliminating waste from a process. And the best example of lean methodology is the Toyota production system. Taichi Ono, who's the father of the Toyota production system, identified seven different categories that we can think of when we talk about waste in a process. At first, it may sound very manufacturing. However, each of these categories does apply in healthcare. The first is defects. Now, we don't like to think of defects in healthcare because we deal with patients. However, if you think about defects as anything that requires rework, there are lots of defects in healthcare. We have unlabeled specimens that need rework. We have patients who arrive at x-ray without an armband. Many examples where there is lots of rework in the process. Defects is the first of the seven that Taichi Ono identified as categories of waste. Overprocessing is another category where we do redundant paperwork. We also have motion. We have people searching for supplies, searching for equipment. We have overproduction, doing more tests than are perhaps necessary for the patient. There's waiting everywhere in the process, waiting for test results, waiting for the next step in the process to occur. Inventory. We have more than we need to take care of patients' needs at any given time. And we also have transportation, moving equipment from one location of the hospital to another to perform a test, moving a patient from one end of the hospital to the other. These are all examples of waste categories that we can look for, identify, expose, and then eliminate that waste from the process. Six Sigma focuses on meeting customer expectations. In this case, the customer is the patient. Six Sigma focuses on reducing defects and variation in the process. We know that patients don't experience the average, yet that's often how we measure our performance. Patients experience the variation in the process, so it is a key component of Six Sigma to identify and reduce the variation in the process to better meet patient expectations. The synergy of combining Lean and Six Sigma strategies really provides a powerful tool and strategy for providing highly reliable quality care that is safe for our patients.